Did you know a tiny color changing square on a vaccine vial can decide whether a life saving vaccine is still safe to use? The answer lies in a special label called the vaccine vial monitor or VVM. Let's know more about it. Number 1. What is a vaccine vial monitor VVM? A vaccine vial monitor VVM is a small heat sensitive label placed on a vaccine vial that indicates whether the vaccine has been exposed to excessive heat over time. It helps health workers decide if the vaccine is still safe to use by showing a gradual color change. Number 2. Who developed the VVM? The VVM was developed by TEMPTIME Corporation in collaboration with the World Health Organization WHO, and the UNICEF to improve vaccine quality monitoring in immunization programs. Number 3. How does a VVM work? A VVM contains a heat-sensitive square that changes color gradually over time when exposed to heat. It is compared to a reference outer circle. If the inner square becomes the same color or darker than the outer circle, the vaccine is considered no longer usable. Number 4. What does the color change in a VVM indicate? The color change in a VVM indicates the level of heat exposure the vaccine has experienced over time. If the inner square is lighter than the outer circle, the vaccine is still safe to use. If the inner square matches or is darker than the outer circle, it means the vaccine has been exposed to too much heat and should be discarded. Number 5. What are the different types of VVMs? VVMs are classified based on the heat stability of the vaccine. Common types include VVM2. Vaccine vial with VVM2 label expire in 2 days when exposed at temperature 37 degrees Celsius. It is used for extremely heat sensitive vaccines like oral polio vaccines. VVM7. Vaccine vial with VVM7 label expire in 7 days when exposed at temperature 37 degrees Celsius. It is used for moderately heat sensitive vaccines like rotavirus vaccine, liquid formulation, and pentavalent vaccines, containing DTP, Hep B and Hip. VVM14. Vaccine vial with VVM14 label expire in 14 days when exposed at temperature 37 degrees Celsius. It is used for less heat-sensitive vaccines like measles, rubella, mister, vaccine and yellow fever vaccine. VVM30. Vaccine vial with VVM14 label expire in 30 days when exposed at temperature 37 degrees Celsius. It is used for relatively heat-stable vaccines like TT vaccines, hepatitis B vaccines and inactivated polio vaccines. Number 6. Why are VVMs important? VVMs help ensure that only potent, safe, and effective vaccines are administered. VVM prevent the use of vaccines that have been compromised due to exposure to high temperatures during storage or transport and support safe immunization practices, especially in areas with limited cold chain facilities. Number 7. Can a VVM detect exposure to freezing? No. VVMs only indicate exposure to heat. They do not detect freezing, which can also damage some vaccines. Separate indicators like freeze indicators are used for freeze-sensitive vaccines. Number 8. Where is the VVM placed on the vaccine vial? The VVM is typically placed on the vial cap or label, where it is easily visible to the healthcare worker before administration. Number 9. When should a VVM be checked? A VVM should be checked at several key points, before using a vaccine, during immunization sessions, and before discarding unused vials. This ensures that only heat-stable, potent vaccines are administered, protecting individuals from receiving ineffective doses. Number 10. Do all vaccines have VVMs? Most vaccines supplied by UNICEF and WHO partners include VVMs. However, some manufacturers or domestic supplies may not yet include them, depending on regulations and supply agreements. Number 11. Can a vaccine with an expired date but valid VVM be used? No. Both the expiry date and the VVM status must be checked. A vaccine past its expiry date must not be used, regardless of VVM appearance. Number 12. What action should be taken if the VVM status is unclear or missing? If a VVM is damaged, missing, or its color is ambiguous, the vaccine should be discarded to avoid the risk of administering an ineffective product. So next time you see that little square on a vaccine vial, remember, it's not just a sticker, it's a silent guardian of public health. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Tiny Predators for more bite-sized microbiology insights.